In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to line brush for poodles and doodles. A brush and metal comb are needed. Paisley's hair is long on top, so I will use a rat tail comb to make the part and separate her hair, which is what will give us the line. Dogs conditioned to brushing will relax just as Paisley is. Now that I've formed my line, I will use my brush to brush the hair that is sectioned off. I brush until I feel no more snags within the hair. Then I use my tester tool, which is my comb. And then I comb through that hair, and once I see it's going through nice and smooth, I know there is no matting or tangles in that hair. Now I will repeat that process and section off another hair, making another line towards her scalp. As you can see, there are tangles in this section of her hair. So I work to get my line, and then I get my brush, and I brush this out until I feel no more snagging. Now I use my comb from the scalp to the ends of the hair to make sure it glides through freely. And you continue this process until you've brushed all the hair. Next, we're gonna focus on the body. It is the same process for all lengths of hair. I then use my comb to portion off a section of her hair. There is that line at her scalp again. I then use my Chris Christensen slicker brush to brush through that section of the hair until I feel no more snagging. I then use my comb to see if there are any tangles, in which I do feel some that comb is snagging. So then I'm gonna take my brush and brush again, and then check my work. The comb moves freely, so now I can move on to the next section. This section is tangled and a little more difficult to make that line. Left unbrushed, this would end in matting. This is why it is so important to brush at least once a week. Poodles have single coats and noodles have double coats. When that undercoat sheds, it gets caught up in the curls, which leads to matting. Line brushing removes that undercoat that has shed. I continue this process. The undercoat that is shed will be collected in the comb and in the brush, as you see here. This is what was causing the hang up and the tangles. As I work my way up her back, you can see this next section is gonna be very difficult. The comb will not go through it. I am certain that this is tangled and would lead to matting. So I bust through that as much as I can till I can get to her scalp. You must be careful not to burn the skin by brushing too hard against the skin, but you must work until you're able to get the brush to move freely. I then use the comb to go through all the hair that I have previously brushed to make sure the comb moves through all of that smoothly. This process is continued from nose to tip of tail. Paisley is relaxed and calm while being brushed because she has been conditioned and this is part of her life. And I truly enjoy brushing and grooming my sweet Paisley. Thank you for brushing your dog.